the terror. Maryland is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Bowling Green's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get two without them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you play them. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. They'll work the left side. He's still going. He's tackled at the 45. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. Call it a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. Let's go, let's go. And he's taken down around the 42-yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the goal. Tackle made at the 26. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. That makes it first and ten. ten. We go to work. We go to work. Quick shot. The defender tips it away. Brad, I think the quarterback here really forced the issue. I think he tried to squeeze that football into a really tight window. And he's very fortunate the safety did step in front of it and intercept that football. He's knocked out of bounds at the 21-yard line. to the wide out and he can't pull it in. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. Well, you talk about a solid hit. This guy is a true enforcer. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Bowling Green could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle around the 47-yard line. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. How we do, D? That's how we do. They don't want They don't want on this. That'll make it second and four. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So he got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down at about the 25-yard line. Open field. I think it was a great play call. It was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Middle of the 
tight end. And he's tackled at the 10-yard line. So they complete that for about seven yards, and they'll pick up a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? A real great throw. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. A five-yard quarterback scramble. Touchdown, Terps! He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of center. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Number 17 on the tackle at the 31 yard line. That'll make it second and four. Straight up the middle and he'll lose yardage. From their own 30 yard line, third down. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. First down. Passes. Tight end's got another one. That's a great tackle at the 41. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. is out to the tailback on the screen. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. That makes it third and three. Blew it out. Makes the grab and out of bounds. Love to watch quarterbacks on third down to just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and their, their approach to the game. This is another big third down. He was able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. They pick up the first down, they get a new set of downs. He wants it all. It's intercepted. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. From their own 22-yard line, first down. Maryland is up by four. hit before it can go anywhere. Here he goes. He's at midfield. Makes it to the 47. and he's got his man. They'll bring him down at the 30. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he hits him hard at the 14. Fires quickly. Touchdown. And 
he hits the PAT. So a six-play, 77-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So the score now, 14-3. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Terrapins are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Right? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Pass is caught, and the defense lays him out. That'll bring it in to the first quarter of action. Maryland's in front by 11. That makes it 76. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. So the halfback loses about two on the run. From their own 27-yard line, it's third down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's got it with room to run. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. He's under pressure. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Let's go, let's go. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Dumps it complete over the middle. And he is drilled at the 38. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. And he's taken down at the 48. Seven yard line. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. They fall on it. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. From the 32-yard line, second down. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Defense 
defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. And somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. So it's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It has the distance. And he just drilled it from long range. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he's got it. That'll make it second and four. I see 47, 47. Let's go, let's go. Number six. Call it a game of five yards. First down. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number four. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That makes it third and three. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. A nice third down conversion there. This offense has a tendency to run the football in this situation, as you can see, with good reason. And they'll get him in the backfield. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 44. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And down he goes at the 25. That's good for a gain of 19 yards. First down. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 52. Check, check, check. Let's go, right. Shift, shift, shift. A little toss across the middle. And he tackles him hard at the 10. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. How about the hit by the defender? Just a great job of pursuing the ball, and that's how you finish off a tackle. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it 35. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. This should be an easy field goal. It's a fake. Tackle at the 11. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Mike 7, Mike 7. Set, blue night cut. Hands it off inside, brought down. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Well, I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. It's third and 11. Ball on their own 10. They hand it off. 
The Falcons using their third and last timeout. The offense couldn't get anything going that time. No, they couldn't. They really looked out of sync there, and they're going to have to make some adjustments to come back next time out. Oh, excellent punt. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Once and all, going deep. And he stays in bounds, and he hauls in a big one. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Dumps it across the middle, caught for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Maryland is up by a touchdown. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 17-10, Terrapin. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show, presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio, as always, to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Maryland is up seven. Big yards. That makes it second and 14. Second down and 14. Ball on the 21 yard line. Third 
steps up in the pocket. He airs it out. And it's going the other way. It's the senior corner. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. He gets rid of this one. I got one, I got one. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. To go. Motion, motion, motion. Motion, motion. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out at the 46-yard line. Trying to change the field position with his kick. He punts. No, he won't. Almost intercepted. Big stop by the defense. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. He's on the run. That's a great tackle at the 42-yard line. Maryland is up a score. He's taken down at about the 41. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That's the senior safety that made that tackle. Great job of providing run support from the secondary. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Got a man, watch out here. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. From the 31 yard line, it's second down. Over the middle to his tailback. And they make the stop at about the 29 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it third and nine. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. That screen play gets him a yard at the most. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Maryland is hoping to make this a two-score game. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. Line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. Hey, Brad, remember the last time this offense came out of the field? Of course, they went for it on fourth down. 
Sometimes it drives me crazy when we call all these games and these guys out here go for it all the time on fourth down. Here's a message. If it's longer than fourth and five, just consider a field goal or a punt. That'll make it second and four. Mike, 27, Mike. Mike, 27. Check, check. Let's go, Raver. Brought down at the 37-yard line. Caught by the sophomore. Number 22, on the tackle at the 37-yard line. Let's pick it up. It's our time. First it's our down. time. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. Out of bounds at the 40-yard line. That makes it second and six. They bring him down. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. And they'll probably try to throw here as they line up on third down and 14. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. get this one off and it's a beauty and he's taken down at the 28 yard line well, the defense held him to three on their last possession pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better tackle with the 27 yard line when you're an option quarterback you get used to getting popped pretty quickly he'll bounce right back up tackle made at the 40. He's at midfield, and he's taken down at the 46. And he hits him hard at the 45. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Off play action. Now he's on the move. And down he goes at about the 31. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. The Terrapins with a 10-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. And they get nice yardage on that run. The option keeper gets him two, maybe three yards. So it's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. And a 
it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Quick pass. Inside the 30. The 10. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. Throws and he's got a man touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Bowling Green, kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Maryland is up by six. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Third down. It's third down and 14 yards to go now after that setback by the sack. Three down, three down. Mike seven. Mike seven. Here go. Down. He's in trouble. Gets it. He's in space. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From their own 41-yard line. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at midfield. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. Taken down right around the 30. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. Number 82, the intended receiver on the play. Here's the eighth play of the series. Maryland up six. Go! 629. And he just gets rid of it. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Pass right, running back's got it. They pick up at the most four yards on the screen play. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt.
He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He makes the catch and has a first down. He's at midfield. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. That's good for a gain of 38 yards. That makes it first and 10. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He fires this one. And he got it to the sophomore. To the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A short three-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, you're going to move the ball well when you're able to execute the pass game like that. Those big plays eventually are going to lead you to touchdown. So the score now, 26-24. And they can forget about returning this one. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Throws it out right to the running back. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 29-yard line. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. He makes it to the 32-yard line. The Falcons call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Gets out to about the 32-yard line. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. He really got a hold of that one. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, this is an example of this quarterback just really being able to go out and show his competitive spirit. And each time he plays, he puts that out on display. Well, there's no question he's got the physical tools. But now, playing on the road, does he have the mental toughness to bring him back? Well, let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments let's go, let's go. after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receiver. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. Here comes the pressure, and he's leveled at the 21. Spikes the ball. If there was ever a time that this offense could use a miracle, it would be right now. It's third down, and they've got a long ways to go to get the first. Just under two minutes in the game. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Complete. He's got room. And now the ball is loose. The defense falls on it. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover ball. They need to hold on to the football. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead, they've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. He makes his way to about the 28. From 
their own 28 yard line. First down. And they'll get him in the backfield. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 26-24, Terrapin. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.